Hey, yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be talking about fasting. As of lately, some of you guys might have watched my previous video. I mentioned that I was gonna start putting on a little bit more muscle mass. Uh, I wanted to work on my body composition a lot more this year. There's several reasons why, there's several goals that I have that will be coming up soon, you know? So uh, th some of those include um, running a marathon, getting better at my Olympic lifting, getting better at my Muay Thai, and you know, all of those have different components to them and all of them have, you could say, different body types depending on how proficient you want to be at it. But the overall, I think, consensus is I do need to lose some body fat right now at the moment. And the best way that I have found across the board, especially in my situation, you know, I have a really hard time losing weight as, uh, as many people out there do. But I found that the most efficient way to do so is to do fasting. And the best form that I have found till this day out of the past four years with carnivore, um, intermittent fasting, every day, every other day fasting, running, extreme cardio, any method, you know, I find that it's a combination of several things. But the first thing that definitely needs to be in place is obviously the nutrition. And I think that the best form is now that I have have a little bit more muscle I've definitely put on a lot more muscle I'm, I'm getting a lot better my body composition is at the point where I think now is the perfect time to start leaning out without getting way too big to affect in uh, any of those sports in a negative way and if I lean out right now it'll definitely affect it in a positive way so what I need to do now is start fasting what I like to do is the 16 and 8 hour method and what I mean by that is for fasting for 16 hours and eating in an 8 hour time window that's the ideal sweet spot that I have found works really well for me I know some people like to do every other day fasting and I potentially could be using that further down the line but at the moment there's a couple of targets that I need to think uh, that I need to hit and some of those targets involve me not losing too much muscle but also adapting a little bit more to fat. As I told you guys, I veered away a little bit from my just complete carnivore diet or just keeping it super strict carnivore. So what I've been doing, it's been a combination of like 90% carnivore and 10% ferment, like in that other extra 10%, we've been keeping the fermented foods and some carbs because I definitely do need them for my explosiveness for those movements that require um, just strict power and just me being really, really fast and just the work amount that I get to do. You know, it's just a really big um, amount, amount of volume that I'm hitting throughout the entire week. So the ideal thing for me is definitely to keep some carbs in there. However, this is where I defer as to how to go ahead and handle that. And that's with the fasting. A lot of people out there in the nutritional world are afraid of keeping fasting in their regular diets in order to not lose any muscle mass or anything of that sort. I'm okay with losing a little bit of muscle mass. Again, I don't require a, a huge amounts. Again, I'm gonna be doing marathon running, so it definitely behooves you if you're gonna be a marathon runner to keep a little bit less muscle, but there are definitely marathon runners that are switching that point of view, that perspective of, oh, only lean, very long, lean, tall people can go ahead and do it. Like super, super, I guess, almost skinnyish looking people. And this is no way throwing a rock at marathon runners. I truly admire what they do. Um, Eli Kipchoge is my hero. I even got this, like, you know, like this watch that's based off of him. Like this is just the EK version, you know? So I really do admire them. They just have a different body composition than I wish to have. And again, I'm not a professional runner, but I want to do several marathons this coming year, you know, 26.3 miles, the entire thing. So I do need to lean out a little bit. So this is what I'm trying to get at right now with my 16-8 intermittent fasting. What I will be doing is I will be starting my fast at around eight o'clock at night. That'll be my last meal. <laughs> or maybe I should put it this way. I'm gonna start um, my day as regular, you know, I, I start off at five o'clock in the morning, I get up, I do my thing, you know, get ready for work. And then sometime around noon, that's when I'm gonna break my fast. So I'm not gonna eat anything until 12 p.m. or 12 o'clock then that's gonna be my time window where I'm gonna eat up to eight o'clock, 8 p.m. So it's gonna be an eight, an eight hour window where I'm gonna be able to eat and then I'm gonna go ahead and fast for the rest of the time. As far as to how much, how many days out of the entire week I'm gonna be doing this, it's gonna be about three days right now. And I know that sounds like a very small amount for most people that have done intermittent fasting. There's people that do it religiously every day. But right now, I need to settle into the fasting. There are several things that I keep a lookout for when I start my fasting or start really getting a little bit more fat adapted, you know? And right now, I'm, a, I'm fat adapted, but not as much as I would like to be. When you start getting into the fasting world, 
there's a different type of adaptation that I really do think takes place and it takes a little bit longer to get used to. But along with that, the reason why I'm not doing it throughout the entire week is I'm not here to torture myself. Right now, it really becomes a little bit too torturous at the beginning to start doing these fasts every single day, you know? Especially right now with the holidays, I know I picked the, the worst time to do it, but in my opinion, that's also the best time to go ahead and do it because I know that if I kind of let loose a little bit too much, hey, I might start veering in different directions and not being very precise, but my goals right now are very set. They're really in the place where I want them to be, so uh, I, I'm very focused right now. So yes, I wanna keep my 16 to eight, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be having two to three meals. It all depends on several things. One, how hard I worked. Second, how I'm feeling. Do I have enough energy for the day? Do Am I feeling groggy? Am I feeling sleepy? Am I feeling, there's, there's a lot of things you gotta keep an eye out, especially when you're fasting and you're putting out high amounts of volume. But there's there's a lot of things you gotta keep in mind. I learned that with um, doing the carnivore diet the first time around and I was doing CrossFit, I figured that I could just go ahead and be fat adapted after like 50, 60 days. But no, I just wasn't able to put that amount of work out there and it was really hindering my performance in CrossFit. So that's why I'm only doing it for three days, four days max out of the entire week. It all depends on how I feel. It's very based off, off of that. So some of the things that I really do look out for when I start fasting are if I'm feeling fatigued. That's a big one. Um, if I start feeling fatigued, obviously I have to do something to remedy that, which is why right now I'm starting with three days only I, I know that fatigue will hit in a little bit more rapidly at least until i get a little bit more adapted i start to lose focus throughout the day that's a very common one as well forgetful i get forgetful like crazy if i start fasting too rapidly so that's definitely on the lookout as well i get irritable really quickly or if i get dizzy those are major signs that you know i need to go ahead and eat something especially get some salt get some electrolytes in you know and finally headaches and getting anxious those are big things uh, that i definitely go ahead and look out for so that's why i'm only keeping my fasting to a minimal right now keeping it to a three-day minimum until i fully get fat adapted or a little bit more fat adapted also the idea remember if you're feeling any of those things you're probably becoming very miserable the idea is not to be miserable the idea is to be able to go ahead and use fasting as a tool to make sure we're attaining whatever goals we have and that's what i'm doing right now i'm trying to just use it as a little bit of leverage to lose some weight once again the overall idea is to lean out just a little bit, not a lot. We still need a lot of strength and we still want a good amount of power. So that's that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to lean out a little bit, but still keep my power, still keep my explosiveness, still keep my tank just overall build, you know? So that's what I'm looking for and we'll see how that plays out in the next couple of weeks. But guys, I really do appreciate it when you go ahead, comment anything down there like or subscribe i really do appreciate it please do it it really helps out the channel and just as a reminder this channel is about slowly educating yourself dialing in your, your nutrition dialing in your fitness slowly but surely and reaching whatever goal you have in mind whatever that may be whether it be maybe body composition whether it be to lean out a little bit or just to educate yourself on how to better navigate this world there's so much information out there right now that you never know what's right and i think that the best thing to do is to test it out for yourself test out as many things as you want make sure you're smart about it do your due diligence and i think that's always the best option but in any case guys as always say out peace